Hi folks, welcome to Tutorials MBT. Um, today demo is about canonical correspondent analysis. My name is Tofila. We are sharing this knowledge today because there's a, a comment asking on how to do a canonical correspondent analysis. So the canonical correspondent analysis is what we call uh, C C A. That canonical correspondent analysis. I'm sure everyone has heard about the you know canonical correspondent analysis and the canonical correspondent analysis. But this demo is about the canonical correspondent analysis. So without the delay, guys, I would like to share with you on how to display the data. So I've got my workbook where I've split the data into different uh, uh, spreadsheet. And this sheet are about, they are about species, the first one, and the second is about the environmental data. The last one is the ID, which means I've cut the species name and shortened them for easy you know, read so that they will be fitting into the graph easily. You know, if they are too long, it's going to be overlapping and it won't look nice. So I just shorten them. And you may also do the same for your graph. You know, now I've got 68 species and I've got 45 plot. 45 plot. The species are about 68. They got up to BQ, yes, that's really the last. So everything is about species and environmental data. The secret here, guys, is to know how to display your data. Make sure that when you are using Kanoko, combining two data set, make sure that the number of the variable in a column, in our case, we have plot, is the same as the number of the variable in the environmental data. It doesn't matter how many environmental variables you have. In my case, I do have 11, but the number of the species are 68. So you must see yourself when you have 11 plot and I mean 45 plot, 45 plot for the environmental variable and 11 environmental, but 68. That's correct. But when the plot are not the same, for the environmental variable and the species, you won't be able to run your analysis. You need to make sure that this column is perfect the same as the environmental variable, 45, 45. Otherwise, you won't run the analysis. So how to run a PCA graph from this data look the same as this one. So without the delay, I'm going to close my Excel and keep the Kanoko so that we can run the analysis. I'm going to restart the process. I'm going to go to import the data that I just showed you. I'm not going to keep this graph. So I'm going to upload the file. As you can see here. I'm going to pick up the data, upload the file. So here's my file. Then the next thing here is to go next, select the sheet that I want to analyze. Remember, I showed you three. I don't want this one because it's just the name of the species. Uh, species. one and then table two is about the environmental variable so now go to environmental data this data specification remember guys if this condition is not met you won't be able to run your analysis make sure that all the column has the same number of plot i have to accept that because that's my condition i'm going to choose the constraint here's the number of the species and the number of the plot I go yes.
Now, Kanoko has given me the analyst setup wizard, and this is about, you know, showing us the step that we took here. Now, the first step was to upload the data. The second one is to do the analysis. That's why we have, as you can see, if I want to show you guys here, the project log, you see that the first step has been adjust and agree within the analysis. Now, by default, my analysis have been checked on the CCA. I can change if I want to, but since the objective of today's demo is about the CCA, I'm going to leave it on CCA and perform the analysis without changing anything. I can make the setup or the dialogue uh, small so that you can, use, you can view it yourself too. Or I can leave it big as TR. So all is up to the person who's running the analysis, guys. You can make it big or you can make it small. Now we'll finish this process. Then Kanoko is busy processing the other steps. As you may see here, I took the constraint stat. Yes, that's why we have a constraint here. And then the analysis of constraints about to be performed. Now, the next step will be to continue with the default as they are. So I'm not changing anything until um i finish my analysis i may change if i want to but in this case i don't see a need of changing because i'm just demonstrating but in the case where i need to go specific the need to change now kanoko is doing uh is running the plot behind the scene so the magic's about to happen and you can see the procedure where now is one step left it's gonna come right after this uh last project log now, you must know that the project log is about the step that you took. And make sure that this project log is always blue because when there's another color, it means there's a problem. Now, this is the graph. The graph has been performed. You may go to the graph and see. This is the graph that I showed you guys at the beginning, guys. This is how you run your PCA. So, guys, I'm sure my friend, you go to answer and I would like more questions. If you're not satisfied and make sure that you subscribe if you're first time to our channel and uh, we may also, you know, be in touch with you for future video. Thanks guys and cheers.